Regulation of breathing in human beings. The average breathing rate in an adult human being is about 16 to 18 times per minute. The breathing is controlled by parts of the brain known as pons and medulla oblongata. You have the pons and the medulla oblongata. It is the concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood that determines the breathing rate. In other words, it is the level of carbon dioxide in the blood which influences these parts of the brain that in turn will influ influence the breathing rate. Now, breathing movements normally take place unconsciously. As the carbon dioxide level in the blood reaches the pons and the medulla oblongata, these levels are detected. And when the levels rise above a certain level, then the pons and the medulla oblongata will send nerve impulses. Is the nerve impulses are sent to the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm which in turn respond appropriately so in other words the presence of carbon dioxide in the blood actually is necessary for continued breathing as the blood flows through the pons of the medulla oblongata the presence of the carbon dioxide in the blood will stimulate the pons of the medulla oblongata, which will in turn keep sending nerve impulses to the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, and breathing will thus continue. However, during vigorous physical activity, the concentration of carbon dioxide increases in the body tissues beyond the normal level. As a result of this, more carbon dioxide diffuses into the blood and reaches the medulla oblongata and the pons. This high concentration of carbon dioxide will trigger the pons and the medulla oblongata to increase the rate of breathing again through the normal the, the, the nerve, imp, uh, nerve fibers. The nerve impulses are sent to the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles but at a faster rate. Now, the increased rate of breathing helps to increase the amount of oxygen in the blood, thereby meeting the demands of the increased tissue respiration. Also, the increased rate of breathing will help to remove the excess carbon dioxide, because the faster the rate of breathing, the more the carbon dioxide is removed through the lungs. So, the increase in the rate of breathing not only increases the oxygen supply, but it also increases the rate of removal of the carbon four oxide. When there is low carbon four oxide concentration in the blood reaching the medulla oblongata and the pons, the normal rate of breathing is restored and these centers of the brain will just maintain the normal breathing rate. Now there are certain factors that affect the rate of breathing because our rates of breathing are not constant as you are aware of that. So some of these factors include the following. One, exercise. Physical exercise such as running, playing ball games such as football, tend to increase the rate of breathing. The faster the rate of breathing supplies oxygen to the tissues for respiration. Because when we exercise vigorously, there's an increase in oxygen demand by the tissues, especially the muscles. So the faster breathing increases the supply of oxygen to the tissues. So more energy is released to sustain these vigorous physical activities. Also, the faster breathing eliminates the excess carbon dioxide produced by the increased rate of respiration. Another factor 
that affects the rate of breathing is age. Young people generally breathe faster than older people, as summarized in this table. See, as the age increases, the rate of breathing decreases. That is, the number of breaths taken per minute decreases. It is highest in newborns and decreases as one gets older. The reason is that the young people are actively growing, hence there is the faster rate of breathing to supply tissues with oxygen. The oxygen is used in respiration to provide energy for growth and also carry out the many physical activities like running about that they tend to engage in. So this older person here has a much lower rate of breathing compared to the kid that he is holding because this kid is very active is still actively growing so requires this a, a higher tissue oxygen demand than the older person who is growing very little in fact there is only replacement of worn out tissues so there is the oxygen demand for the tissues is much lower in the older person a third factor that affects the rate of breathing in human beings are emotions Now, emotions, we have different emotions in our, as human beings, and these generally affect the production of a particular hormone known as adrenaline. So different emotional states produce different amounts of the hormone adrenaline. Adrenaline has many functions in the body, many effects, and one of them is the increase of the rate of breathing. So various emotional states, as demonstrated in these photographs, this, this is the person, the normal, neutral emotional state. Then she can display different emotions like surprise, fear, disgust anger or happiness all these various emotional states will affect her rate of breathing because different emotions affect the production of this adrenaline like when one is angry there's an increase in the rate of adrenaline production so many people tend to increase the rate of breathing same case with fear or even happiness excitement like during surprise all these increase the rate of adrenaline production and the rate of breathing is thus increased now other factors that affect the rate of breathing include temperature generally when the temperature is high there's a tendency in the rate of gaseous exchange to increase because they have the temperature they have the rate of tissue respiration However, if the temperature remains too high, that is, if the temperature rises to too high, then the breathing rate will reduce. This is the body's way of trying to prevent an increase, a further increase in temperature. But generally, if there is a, a small increase in the body temperature, there will be there tend to be an increase in the rate of breathing. Otherwise. If the rise in temperature is too much, then the rate of breathing will tend to be reduced. Health, that is the health status, is another factor. During sickness, the rate of breathing increases, again, depending on the type of sickness. But in many cases of sickness, the rate of breathing will increase. This is because the faster rate of breathing will enable the liver to remove toxins in the drugs or those that have been released by the pathogens in the body. The faster rate of breathing also enables the kidneys to excrete waste products from of the body metabolism through urine. However, there are certain diseases 
such as the respiratory tract infections that tend to block the air passages, making breathing difficulty. So this will tend to reduce the rate of breathing. So the effect of health or disease depends on the nature of the sickness. Some do increase the rate of breathing, while others tend to reduce. For example, there are those diseases that cause the body's temperatures to increase will also affect the metabolic rate, which will in turn lead to a higher rate of breathing. And then altitude. At high altitude, the rate of breathing is faster than at low altitude. This is because the higher the altitude, the lower the concentration of oxygen. Thus, there is a need for faster rate of breathing to supply tissues with sufficient oxygen for respiration.